Thanks ShipStation for sponsoring this video. For today's cook, the first thing we gotta do is prep our chicken. As you know, salt is the master of all seasoning and if you get that part right, you're almost sure to make your chicken taste better already. Now the next thing I wanted to do was to go ahead and season it with a barbecue rub. For that I chose my rub, Guga's rub. You can actually make this rub at home yourself. I have a full video about it explaining step by step. However, I have been working on a very new one and that one will be coming very soon. Now the next thing to do is to go ahead and truss in the chicken. So even though I'm not the best butcher in the world, this is what I was left with. A nicely trussed chicken which will allow me to take it in and out of the pot anytime I want. The original idea for this experiment was to cook the chicken in soy, to be specific soy sauce. Now this is a very popular method in Asia. So since I'm going to be boiling it in soy sauce already, why not try it with Coca-Cola as well? I mean both of them are the same exact color. So let's see how good or bad this is actually going to be. So now that I have both of my chickens ready to go, I decided to make a quick and fast side dish. And to make it, it's super easy and here's how. The first thing to do is to make a sauce. Into a bowl I combine a little bit of soy sauce, followed by dark soy sauce, a tiny bit of oyster sauce, cherry vinegar, the good old ketchup, potato starch, white granulated sugar, and a splash of water. Mix everything well because that's it. Now I heated up a Dutch oven with a little bit of oil and threw in some eggs in there. We're gonna fry these eggs up. If you're feeling adventurous, you can do the same thing with butter as well. You just gotta be real careful not to burn the butter. So after frying all of my eggs up, this is what I was left with. Now into the same Dutch oven, I added a little bit of oil, followed by green onions. And as soon as it started to release a little bit of the smell, I threw in some garlic, followed by that wonderful sauce we just made. Now back in, all of my eggs went, added a little splash of water, and bring everything to a light simmer. Into a bowl, I added a little bit of white rice, followed by the fried egg, a little bit of that sauce that was left on the pan, a tiny bit of sesame seeds, followed by some chives. Now that is today's side dish. Super inexpensive and that should pair up perfect with our chicken because we still gotta go ahead and cook them. And here's how it's gonna go down. I'll be using these three special ingredients also. We got brown sugar, a little bit of chives, and ginger. First to cook up the soy sauce chicken. Into my Dutch oven, I added one gallon of it. Yes, a ridiculous amount of soy sauce. Then I added the green onions, followed by the ginger, and the brown sugar. Set my stove on high and let everything come to a simmer. As soon as I had a full boil, it was time to dunk in my chicken. And as you can see, as it's cooking, the chicken starts getting a nice, wonderful color. Now my total time for this cook was about 45 minutes. You see, the important thing that I was looking for is for the internal temperature, which for the breast, I was looking for 165 degrees Fahrenheit and the dark meat, 175. Once those temperature was reached, I took it out and take a look. I mean, I don't know about you, but this looks gorgeous. But remember, we also have a second chicken to cook. But this one is going to be boiled 100% in Coca-Cola. Lowering it down was no problem at all. Then I immediately threw in all of the other ingredients that I did previously. Now here's the thing. This one is a completely different experience than the previous one. It actually smells horrible. But not only that, take a closer look at this thing. It's like creating a scum or something. At the same time, take a look at the edges. I think the sugars are caramelizing on top of the skin of the chicken and right about this point I was rethinking my choices in life. There's no way that this is gonna be good. But hey, once the chicken was fully cooked to the right temperature, I immediately took it out. And take a look at this thing. Wow, no joke. Now here's what they look like side by side. We got the beautiful soy chicken on the left and the Coca-Cola one on the right. And a closer look, you can really tell the differences between these two. But if you were here on my studio, you would be able to tell immediately by the smell. It's like night and day. Now it was time to go ahead and start the butchering. So I started with the soy chicken first. I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things to eat on chicken is dark meat. So take a look at this. That is very juicy. Now take a closer look at the breast of the soy one. Extremely juicy. Wow. Wow, not bad. But once I was done with all of the butchering, take a look. Soy chicken on the left, Coca-Cola chicken on the right. And look how juicy the soy chicken is. Yeah, this is a chicken breast. The only thing that really bothers me right now about the Coca-Cola is the skin. But at the same time, the guys have no idea how it was cooked. So hopefully they will have a different perspective than me. Because now, the only thing to do is to taste them. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be terrible? Well, let's find out right now. 
Does that look good or what? But before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, ShipStation. Sometimes you can get by doing things the hard way. Like when I decided to cook a steak on a shovel. And man, let me tell you, that was a surprising experience. But when you run a business, doing the things the hard way actually holds you back. ShipStation gives e-commerce sellers an easier way to manage shipping so you can take all of the energy that goes into managing orders, choosing carriers, and printing labels and use it to grow your business. They make it super easy and convenient to ship and manage your orders fast for a lot less money and they are ready to keep up with the pace of your growing business with a company that handles all your shipping needs they work with all your storefronts like amazon ebay etsy and more you can save time by funneling all your orders into one simple interface and manage everything even from your phone then you can save money by comparing carrier options your small business can access the same discounted rates usually reserved for fortune 500 companies so it works with every carrier so you can find the best solution for you it's time to let go all of those shipping tasks shipstation can do it better and faster sign up for a free 60-day trial today at shipstation.com slash foods and start saving time on every shipment that's two whole months of shipping made quick and painless and it is free to try just go to shipstation.com slash foods thank you shipstation for sponsoring this video but now let's get right back to it all right everybody here we got our beautiful feast gentlemen we got chicken today angel i know you're so excited like your heart cannot contain itself it's contained <laughs> very contained right now leo what do you think well <laughs> Damn, wow. Leo. Wow, that was deep. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's not steak. <laughs> That's all I got, guys. I'm sorry. But I will say one thing. It is an experiment. So you should be extremely excited about this. I think you said like the two things that we're least excited about. <laughs> Chicken and experiments. <laughs> okay, enough talking. Let's give this a go, all right? So we have one and two. We're going to start this direction. We have the dark meat and the white meat. Whatever you guys want, go for it, Angel. I just got one that's already sliced. Look at how juicy yeah, that, that is. That is very promising. Though. You tell me right now. Look at this, everybody. I'm talking about juiciness. This huh? is chicken breast? Oh, chicken breast. Give an honest opinion. Let's see. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Moist. Very moist. Super juicy. Mm-hmm. A waterfall of juice and very flavorful, though. Yes. The skin of it is the best part. It's, like you said, jam-packed, full of flavor. And you can tell whatever you did to this chicken, the flavors that it had penetrated deep because it is a very flavorful chicken, which is not normal. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably one of the better chicken breasts that I've ever had. It is quite surprising, everybody, because the skin is kind of like gooey, I would say. Yeah, yeah. It's not like a crunchy skin that I'm normally used to, but at the same time, it's quite enjoyable. That was good. I enjoyed it. If I had a regular chicken breast or that chicken, I'm going that chicken all day. And you pair that up with a little bit of white rice. That sounds killer. Yeah, that sounds good. That's money, everybody. Oh, yeah. Money. Talking about white rice and stuff, let's do that right now. We have a little side dish here with Asian style egg. Hey, Andrew, I got something extra a little bit for you right here. Hold oh, on a second. I actually already pushed mine to the side. Thank you. Oh, you did push yeah, it to yeah. the side. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> let's give this a try and let you guys know. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. Mm hmm God damn, that's delicious. Wow. Simple, cheap, flavorful. I'm assuming that's an egg. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more cooked than a normal soft egg, but I don't mind it because it actually adds kind of like a nice crust. And yeah. because of that delicious, like sweet and tangy sauce on yeah. top, it's just a really nice combination. And it's a perfect platform for you to enjoy this. The egg's kind of fried, so it has like yeah. a... Like a crunch. Like a, no, I want to say... Not like a crunch, but like a sear almost. Yeah, so it's like a little chewy, you know what I mean? It's like a... Ready for the next chicken? Give me your honest opinion. Since we went with the breast, I recommend we go with the breast here as well. Okay. All right, dig in. Let's go for it. Ooh, this one is also very juicy. It does look quite juicy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Give me your honest opinion in this one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. It's not as flavorful. That's not bad. <laughs> what the hell, everybody? It's not bad. <laughs> it's actually not bad at all. It's just not as flavorful. Yeah. Not like boom in your face. Yeah, this one has a lot more flavor. The crust is where all that flavor lies, and it's actually a little bit sweet. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. It's not crazy sweet. You definitely feel that hint of sweetness on it. I'll be honest with you. I thought this one was going to be terrible, guys. Really? <laughs> I thought oh, this was no. going to be a disaster. <laughs> you see this little brown stuff right here on the top? Yeah. You know what that is? Caramelization or something? No, my friend. That is Coca-Cola. Because I boiled this one on Coca-Cola. That's what this is. <laughs> all for you, my friend. You're a Coca-Cola fanatic. <laughs> Listen, I've been trying to tell you guys that Coca-Cola is good for cooking. We're eating it and we're saying it's okay. It's Hello? Okay. Which one do you guys prefer? This one right here, which was boiled in Coca-Cola or this one, which was boiled in soy sauce? I'll say it all with this. 
Oh, you went for another one of that one, huh? <laughs> Here's what I will say. This is a safe route. It tastes amazing, highly recommend. Can we all agree? That's not bad. It's not that it's not bad, it is good. I hate to say it, but it's good. I think that that might be a step up from regular chicken. <laughs> like I'd rather eat this than a regular chicken, but I would much rather eat that because that is super flavorful. This is 100% the winner. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything will always be in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.